Hello! I've been hoarding up a lot of not actually Lego for another special, and I've basically discovered I've got far too much of it. So much, in fact, I could probably do another three specials. Hell, I might release this as a two-part video. Why not? I don't often do that. Anyway, basically my entire release schedule for videos is now dictated around the things I need to clear room for. So let's get on with it with our best friends at Kobe stroke best lock construction toys. Build a lot, pay a little. It's like they're saying that they're a cheap version of Lego, which is exactly what they are. 55 pieces and two figures for the foosball set, which is like soccer, only exactly the same, because that's what it is. But Empfolen von Tip Kick, registered trademark, wow. Some sort of action kicking feature. They've actually registered as a trademark, so it must be pretty exciting. Works with other brands, like Russell. I could have done that joke before. Oh, I don't know, who cares. Anything else in the box of interest? No, just what's going on. I've now noticed the face on this one. Never really looked that closely before. Now I'm beginning to desperately wish I hadn't. Please tell me the figure doesn't actually look like that. I don't want it in my house. Also, why hasn't the cameraman got any eyes? That's pretty much a prerequisite for a cameraman. Not wishing to appear discriminatory, but you know, you're not going to get very far with it without them. Right, inside the box. Instructions, which looks suspiciously like the uh, picture on the front of the box. And the parts. Mm. Oh god, that was a mistake. Right, let's put our parts on. Time for a jump cut to the completed set, I think. So remember what I was saying about hoping the figures didn't have that creepy face? Well, good news, they don't. The bad news... Attack of the bloody Autons. Good god, horrible faceless monstrosities carved from some sort of dark plastic. Blimey. Well, that's the press member, there with his magic camera, which will presumably steal people's souls, because he looks like he fucking needs one. And here is the footballer. Interestingly, he came with different stickers, so you can make him look like he's a member of your favourite team. I've gone for green, because it's the closest to Norwich City, which is the one people care about in these parts for some reason. Right. Here's your setup. It's a goal, inexplicably made partially out of paint rollers, but there we go. And the tip kick system is this. How did you get a registered trademark for that, guys? When you just laughed out of the office? Yeah, we're going to get two bits of Lego. Um, they're going to sort of stick together and move it a bit from side to side. Oh, OK, I'll leave. Nope, apparently they got a registered trademark. Well done, lads. We're all impressed. So here it is for all your exciting tip kick fun. Yeah, look at me going left to right. Has anybody noticed what part, quite an integral part, I would say is missing from this set? For instance, a fucking football? It's a football set where you have a movable goalie who's supposed to protect the goal from the goddamn ball, and they haven't given us a ball. Seriously, I thought it had dropped on the floor and I spent ages looking for it, but nope, there's not one included. Obviously you need the ball expansion pack to get that. Also, I must just mention, because it annoyed me, uh, the instructions actually contradict themselves on that part, and that really annoys me, because, you know, I shouldn't do that. It doesn't annoy me as much as not actually having the foosball to play with. Absolutely tremendous. So it is actually more of an Auton attack set than it is a football set. Away with you. Away with you. To the corner. With the filth. <sighs> anyway, let's blow them up with a military plane, shall we? From Blocktech Construction Blocks. Yeah, we like them. They feature a lot. Military plane. Right. Slight problems here. The most obvious one being doesn't look anything like a plane. Doesn't really have any wings, lads. Do you see the problem with that? They've even put it near a picture of a biplane. That is that what it's supposed to be? Because, you know, you should have shown the designers that before they put this together. 67 pieces. Every one a winner. Contains 67 block pieces, stick sheet, instructions, 0-3, sad onions, and all the usual. Go on, then. I'm always slightly disappointed with block tech, because the figures aren't particularly creepy. They just look like, well, Lego men, really. And I do like the way they reinforce the boxes, in case you want to send them in the post or something. Little stickers that I probably won't bother putting on. Oh, I'm going to have to, because look, they're for the um, figures. Oh. oh, well. I'll spend my time doing that when I could be out, I don't know, doing other things. Hmm, slightly complex looking instructions that seem to be doing 40 stages at once. This is going to be fun. Jump cut. Quick interlude to mention that although this was brand new sealed in the box, some of the pieces appear to have been chewed. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the figure first. 
Not bad, actually. Quite like the little figures of these. Except for the fact that one of his leg pins was broken off in the box. So, he's only got the one leg, but he can still hop into action with the best of them. Also, notice he does actually have a transfer on his chest. Ah, so, that was just stickers to use if you fancied putting him in a different shirt? I don't know. Or maybe you could use the stickers to recruit other figures into the army, look. That's how it works, army recruitment, you know? Somebody just gives you a new shirt and suddenly you're in the army now. Whoa ho ho, you're in the army. Now. Anyway, that's the man, that's his gun, which it occurs to me, actually. Ah, look, on the box he's got an obvious rip-off of the Lego Star Wars blaster design. Ah, but in the box it's some sort of original far too big thing. Anyway, get these sat down in your chariot of whatever the flipping heck it's supposed to be, because frankly, it's not a military plane, or a plane of any type. I like the fact he has to sit on the top with his visor down and shoot at people with his handgun, because it has no weapons on it. But um, other than that, not entirely sure how this works. It appears to have jets on the back, no wings as such. Weirdly, these wings all face that way, the bottom wings face the other way. Yes, I did read the instructions correctly. Also, there were no actual hints as to where the stickers go, so I just went where my heart took me. Look, there's his little windshield, which is nowhere near as high as his head. Yep. I'm no expert in aeronautical engineering, but I'm thinking this probably wouldn't work very well, to say the least. We surrender. Your airplane is, is so absolutely high tail. Who are we kidding? Just send him home. He's obviously a bit weird. Yep, I think he made this himself in his dad's garage. Good for him. We all need a hobby. Speaking of which, let's look at some more Lego. Oh wait, not Lego, Brick's Intellect. Choking hazard, small parts. Mm. Change, try it yourself. Okay, but I can't tell what it is. It's like two lobster claws attached to a thing. Combined toy, collect them all. Number seven, five plus terrifying weevil children. Brick's Intellect, I like it. Uh, sort of trying to uh, imply that it's an educational toy maybe, and not really doing very well at the whole speaking English part. Who can say? Well, what can we collect in this series? One of those that might be a spaceship. One of those that probably isn't a spaceship. One of those that's definitely a spaceship, and whatever the hell that is, and... Oh, there we are. You can combine them all into a multi-coloured mess. Brilliant. What's not to like? Hmm, most of it. Right, what's inside, then? I'm presuming lots of really weirdly shaped bricks. Yeah. This isn't actually very Lego-y. There's, there's a hint of Lego to it. Ooh, open the bag. Come on, up we come. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, this is cheap old plastic, this one. It's meant to say, actually, both the block tech, other than the marks on it, and the best lock stuff, very high quality. Actually, really good plastic. The best lock um, was not far off Lego at all. That's a little bit down in the um, plastic quality stakes, but not much. This, not so good. I do worry about the intellect of those who bought it. Anyway, this is going to be fun. Oh my god. Oh, there is a hint of how to do it. Good. Hmm, what's that you say? A cut of jumps? Public service announcement. Serious face. If you're ever given any of these, do not give them to a child to actually play with. The plastic is extremely hard to fit together, very, very brittle and very sharp. When trying to just fit this bit onto the bit below, it's shattered off into a sharp shard in my hand. So, uh, yeah. Protect your weevil-faced children. Anyway, Brick's intellect to the rescue! Uh, looks a bit like something out of, I don't know, Space 1999 or Blake 7 or the bottom of a frickin' bin. Um, yeah, this is bloody awful. You can't even build it into anything else if you want, because most of the pieces don't have proper connectors, and there's basically no way to put it together other than the prescribed method of crappy, absolutely disgusting, gaudy, sharp, nonsense, rubbish, sit over there and fester. Ugh, well that's put me in a good mood for the rest of the day. So then, that was some Lego that was not Lego. It was bad Lego, but some of it was good Lego. But then there were the faces, and overall, it was bad. Ah oh, well, at least that's out of the way for a while. Until I do part two of this video in a few days. Oh, God. Now I know how Let's Players must feel. Never.